Hello, my fellow Limitless HBICs. How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? Let's move. How are you? You been good? You mean trying to maintain a beneficial state or at minimum identifying the state you're in? Have you? Have you? You telling me the truth? Well, we'll find out after this video, won't we? Okay, so first of all, I'm mass recording today, so I don't, you're, you're gonna see me and my chipped tooth for a while because I recorded a bunch of videos the other day and I'm freaking record a bunch now too. So we're still here. We're still here chipped. It's okay though. It looks so different. Okay, well, anyway. If you would like some assistance in getting your manifestation, or if you need some assistance like with judging or keeping you on track and keeping your mind centered so that you get your manifestation, please feel free to contact me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching options are in the drop box below. They were in the screens that just went by, so feel free to get hold of me. Tiny bit of a wait. Tiny bit of a wait. You're, you're in line. If you email me and get the auto response, you are in line and I'm going in order received. Okay. So don't panic. Order received. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I also, if you need like a weekly zhuzhing, but are not going to bring your old story, please feel free to join my channel membership. Should be a join button somewhere down there. If not, try it from a laptop. Because I've had people contact me over the weekend who are not seeing the join button on their cell phone anymore. So I don't know what YouTube's doing. Check uh, through a laptop or from your desktop computer. Uh, there should be one there. There is a link in my bio as well. Or in the Dropbox, I mean. Um, yeah, it's weekly. Usually I go live with them exclusively every single Tuesday. 9-ish or 9.30-ish p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I also have TikTok, Instagram. I go publicly live on here as often as possible because I know people like to ask questions and I don't blame you. I had tons of questions and wished there was a coach that was actually reading the, the questions. I know. I remember wanting that as well. So hence why I try to do it. I try to give you as much as I can about myself. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you'd like to meet me in person, please feel free to join me at Epics and Chill uh, August 20th in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I'll be there. Come and see me. Let's meet. Let's hang out. Okay. There'll be other celebrities there as well if you want to go talk to them. We can go to a concert after it together. Okay. All right. Anyway, all done selling myself. So this is my long awaited video that to be honest, I already have a video on states, um, but I it's requested that I make another one as far as like how to get in and maintain a state. So this, th this is it, this is the video. Before we even jump into the video, let me read you a Neville Goddard quote, okay? Get, get things brewing. I am not speaking about some little magical thing where you can wave a wand and your desire will suddenly appear. This law is based upon a principle. If you want something, you can have it. But you must be willing to give up what you are now in order to be what you want to be. That is the only price you pay. No sacrifice is required outside of giving up the state in which you find yourself and moving into the state where you want to B, for they are only states, okay? We got to give up this shitty lack-filled state that we've been marinating probably most of our existence and shift into the one where we know we get our shit. Let's get going. Now, first, let me start from the jump. I think that some of you are thinking of states as this unattainable thing that you must work to get. Not true. Not true. You're in a state, whether you believe or think you are, even in this moment, you are in a state at all times. Getting yourself into a beneficial state, or as I like to call the woman or man who has it all state, or some refer to as God state, uh, 
we have the ability to access that state at any time, right? There is no proving our worthiness in order to get that state. We have access to it right now in this moment. Let me first give you some other backgrounds, such as there are infinite states. Infinite states. Well, what does that mean? That means there are infinite versions of yourself, which also means infinite versions of people out in your 3D, like your specific person as well. It is how we have the ability to recreate a specific person when we are not enjoying how they are showing up in our 3D we have the power to change how they behave in our 3D simply by changing our state, okay? I want to help you understand what, what a state is and what states are available to you. So think of the phrase, I am. You will often hear like, I am God. I am, the I am, the I am-ness, Yeah. I want you to forget that for a sec. I want you to think of when you say I am, you are talking about yourself. Hence, why we have access to the God state. I am-ness, my, my, I, I'm leaving it. My I am-ness state, the who we are. We have access to this because we have God within us right now in this moment. God is within us. If you are someone who does not believe in God, that is okay. Change the wording. I am for easiness and for my own, this, this is the habit I'm in. I refer to God as God. I think there is a God. That's my belief. You do not have to share my belief in order to manifest. So whatever you call the higher being, whether it's your higher self, um, the source, the soul creator. I can't think of any other ones, but I'm sure there are. You insert your wording wherever I say God. Okay? All right. So, you have God within you right now in this moment. It is how you have the ability to manifest. Your imagination is your I amness. It's how you're able to manifest because you have the ability to utilize your imagination and create whatever it is you want to manifest and project it out into your 3D. So I want you for a moment to think of how many times have you said things that started with I am? Like, I am broke. I am rich. I am a nail technician. I am a this. I am a wife, I am a mom, I am all these things. Each one of those is a state. It's a state. What I think is best for us is to focus on maintaining a nice dwelling state. Everyone has a state that they are used to being in. They fall back to. It is the one that feels the most natural to you. It has been my experience that when we work on changing our dwelling state, that is what yield, has yielded me results in my 3D in a not so very long amount of time. I wasn't even aware that I was changing my dwelling state per se. I was just practicing every day, getting myself into the woman or man who has it all state or the God state. I was practicing it. And eventually, because of daily practice, I changed my dwelling state. So this is the state that I wake up to nearly every day. Doesn't mean I am in it 24 seven, no. There are moments I fall out. When I am falling for the illusion of the 3D or allowing it to trigger me, I am falling out of my dwelling state and falling into what was probably known as my old dwelling state. That's how I look at it. Victim mode. Because anytime we look at the 3D, in my experience, 
and see it as separate from us and out of our control, or when we think a specific person is doing things deliberately to, to hurt me or anger me or frustrate me, if they are doing things to me, that is a victim state because you were seeing yourself outside the scope of being the God of your reality. Now, what I want to preface is you do not have to believe you're the God of your reality. You don't have to believe in your affirmations. It, you don't. You can still manifest without that belief. You've been doing it your entire life. Do I think it becomes easier for you on your journey to believe in these things? Yes, I do. When I finally believed and accepted, and it was because of results, yeah, my journey got a lot easier, a lot easier and a lot quicker. But you don't have to. And it's quite normal to not believe when you start this journey, okay? I really want to make that clear. It's very normal to not believe in any of this shit and to question the hell out of it. Especially when your 3D is showing you the damn opposite. It is very normal to think this stuff ain't real, okay? Don't beat yourself up for falling out of a favorable state. All right. What a state is, is a state of consciousness, a state of consciousness that has its own beliefs, assumptions, experiences, manifestations, its own self-concept. So each state you move through has all brand new beliefs, assumptions, self-concept, experiences, and manifestations. Does each state feel brand new to us? No. But I will tell you that when you are beginning to practice focusing on and shifting your state, it is so normal for you to feel uncomfortable and to have the 3D kind of start showing you shit you don't like, possibly even the total opposite of what you're manifesting. It's normal. It's okay. It doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean you're failing. I want you to take that entire phrase, I'm doing something wrong, out of your vocabulary because you can't do anything wrong in manifesting. You really can't. And I know there are coaches who teach you from the perspective of, if you don't do this, you will fail. If you don't get this right, you will fail. I don't like that type of teaching style. I don't. I don't like fear mongering. I like letting you know, because it's been my experience, that when we, in their eyes, screw up and let the 3D trigger us and we react, that doesn't make you a failure because we can still pick ourselves back up and get back on our game. And guess what? Everything falls in line with us. Do you see what I'm saying? We don't have to fear that, well, you were thinking negative thoughts when you fell off the game, so now you can expect them to show up. No, I don't have to expect shit. If I shift my state, I'm golden because your state matters. Your state is like the house you are living in. It means everything, everything. We can shift in an instant, literally, and you know that. You've experienced it. You know what it's like to be in an amazing mood. You're on top of the world. Maybe manifestations are coming in. You feel untouchable. You feel unstoppable. You feel limitless. And then the next morning, you wake up back into an old state where you're starting to doubt again. You're starting to worry. You feel how different that feels, yes? You feel the difference in the states. But you didn't feel a whoosh. When you moved state, you didn't feel any of that. It just felt natural and normal. And that's what it feels like to shift your state. It doesn't really feel like anything. You just notice that you as a whole feel differently, maybe even lighter. When we shift to favorable states, we tend to feel a little bit lighter in a good way, meaning the weight of our worries are gone. That's a good thing, isn't it? 
Now I'm going to show you or tell you how I get into a more beneficial state. And this is going to feel like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm teasing you a little bit, but I'm not. I'm being 100% serious. You often hear me say that you make the rules of manifesting in your reality. And, and, and you do. I'm not taking that rule back. I'm saying you do. You make the rules. When states officially clicked with me was when I realized that this need or desire to constantly seek, seek fixing this and fixing that in order to get my SP to show up right, it clicked with me that that is an issue. We do not have to seek perfection or to fix things about us to manifest. And that's unfortunately how a lot of manifestation is being taught from that perspective. I want you to tell yourself that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry when you fall into a shittier state. That it's just a part of your experience and that you know you will shift back to a more beneficial state. And that the freedom of that belief in itself will keep you in a beneficial state. Meaning, when you stop allowing fearful negative thoughts control you and you begin the belief of, I don't have to worry about negative thoughts. I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's not going to manifest. I don't have to worry about being perfect. I don't have to do any of that. I can still get what I want. It's easy for me to manifest. It's easy for me to maintain a beneficial state. I can't mess this up. When you really start accepting those phrases as your truth, you are creating a beneficial state. You are creating a state where you can't lose. You can't fuck this up. You see, you often hear me bring up the focus on who you truly are, what's really inside of you, the I am, the I amness, the God of your reality. I tell you that over and over again because I want you to really saturate and marinate in that. You have a God within you right now. Whether you're a good person or a bad person, it's still there. However, when you discover manifesting, you start hearing all the ways that you can screw this up if you don't do this right. And we start taking on all of that as new beliefs and assumptions. And in most of these coaches' defense, I don't think they come from a malicious place. But what they are doing is creating more limitations for you. When you realize that you are sincerely limitless... You're in a state where you really believe you're limitless and that you can access and have and manifest anything you want because it's already yours. It already exists. You start to really believe that it is done. And if you entertain that thinking every single day, that's putting you in a state where you don't have to worry about messing up. You don't have to fear your thoughts. You really do feel powerful, powerful, and you really do think you're limitless. And therefore, 3D has to become that. It has to reflect your new state, your new beliefs. So one of the ways we get to our God state or the state of not having to fear is by consistently and persistently be still and know I am God. Do you hear that? Be still and know I am God. It's because you are, you have God within you. You are the I am. You already are that. You are just used to thinking the complete opposite and separate from any type of higher being. 
No, you already are the I am. And when you remind yourself of that, hence why I say, marinate in who you are. All of your desires are already yours. You are not separate from them. Your belief in the illusion of the 3D that you are separate from them is what is keeping you separate from them. When you marinate and saturate your mind in the knowing you are God, you are knowing that you already are the I am and everything you desire is already yours. You begin to truly believe that and therefore you become that version of yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? When we sit and consistently think of our desires as separate things, separate entities, as if you're working to get them as opposed to knowing they're already yours, you put yourself into a state of not having, not having the desire. I know how simplistic that kind of sounds, but it's the key. That's how you shift your state. You remind yourself of the who you are, your God power. You put your focus on that. Sometimes it helps people to take a moment, maybe meditate on the I am-ness. Telling yourself over and over and over and saturating your mind, telling yourself I am the I am. Sometimes that is helpful. Sometimes just taking a moment for yourself, sitting alone, and really just regrouping, calming down, shutting the 3D out, and remembering who you are. It isn't a series of actions you have to take in order to get the state. It's all in the story you're telling. So you tell yourself that it's easy for you to maintain a more pleasurable state, or it's easy for you to believe that you are the I am and that nothing is separate from you and all of your desires are yours and will be always at your fingertips. There is nothing that can be kept away from you. Do you see the difference of trying to manifest your specific person as opposed to knowing they're already mine? That relationship is already created and everything starts with me. So if that's my desire, I know I can have it because I already have it. You'll often hear coaches talk about needing to love yourself. Self-love is important. It is. But when you tell yourself that you're in the state of the knowing that I am the I am, then you already know that love comes from you first. So there doesn't have to be this separate self-love workshop when it's already available to you right now. If this in any way seems complicated, I promise you it's not. Spend time really saturating your mind with the I am, with the knowledge of the who you are and what you have access to. You have access to any version of yourself that you desire. One of the things I tell you guys is ask yourself, what does it feel like to be that version? And some of you say, I don't know. I've never been that version. That's okay. What do you think it would feel like? It's okay to guess. It's okay to become the new you now. There is no level of perfection to hit. It's, for example, when states finally clicked with me, I was in the midst of solo vacation number two. And what I realized was I was, A, always seeing myself separate from my manifestation. And I never really saturated my mind with the who I am. So that was my first step, was consistently reminding myself that I am the I am. And I am already perfect and whole now, there is nothing more for me to fix about myself. And I know that I have the ability to access any state I desire right now. So what is the version of myself that I want to be right now? What is that version? And in this moment, 
you're thinking separately and I get it because I did too, but just hear me out. What does the version of me look and feel like if I had my manifestation? And I don't mean from when SP comes rolling back in and you know says, let's get married, baby. No, I'm not talking about that moment. I'm talking about three or four months down the road from already manifesting that stuff back or your ex back or your, you know, whoever you're manifesting. No, what does three or four months down the road version of you look like, feel like? Well, I would feel calm, cool, collected, nothing to worry about. I would know comfortably for real that my SP was head over heels in love with me and was always loyal and faithful to me and that SP wanted to be in this relationship as much as I did. And for me, it was the feeling of being safe and secure and not abandoned and feeling good enough. So that version of me would feel good enough. That version of me would not fear abandonment. That version of me would have nothing to worry about, but could just enjoy the present moment of that relationship. And that relationship would look exactly like I dreamed. My SP would be, you know, loving, uh, plenty of attention and affection, whatever. Just because that's what my idea of how the relationship looks doesn't mean it, we don't have to have the same idea. You're allowed to have your specific person in your relationship look any way you want because it's relative, right? Your desires are yours. Mine are mine. So mine would look like we want to be with each other, both of us equally. I wanted to feel that. So that version of myself who had that manifestation three or fours down the road would feel content, satisfied, satiated. So then I started practicing each day, trying to get in to that feeling. And don't get hung up on worrying about feelings. I'm saying it's seeing yourself as that version. So what would that feel like to me? I would feel nothing to worry about. That's what I boiled it all down to. I would feel like I had nothing to worry about. So when I thought of myself, it all boiled down for me was that version of me would worry about nothing and would know everything's okay and everything always works out for me. And I would just have to think of something and it's mine. That's what that version of me would get to live life like. So I started practicing day by day, little by little. It wasn't perfect, by the way, but I would try to think of myself and see myself as that version. Meaning I carried myself around my 3D as best as possible as not worrying about manifesting him back. Was I perfect? Nope. Did I feel like that 24 seven? Definitely no. Did I fall out of it a lot? Yup. Did I get triggered by the 3D? Most definitely. But I knew that that was okay. And that's why I bring up the fact how upset I was every single day. Not that I want you guys to be upset, but I'm saying that's, that's your proof that when you do fall back out of the state, there's no reason to beat yourself up. There's no reason to start fearing what's going to show up out here. Because the more you saturate with your mind that there's nothing to worry about, you don't have to be perfect. You can still manifest whatever you desire because it's all ready yours. So if there's nothing to worry about, if I make the mistake of being triggered by my 3D, I don't have to worry about it. I can just pick myself back up and get back into a better mindset out of choice. Meaning it feels better to not worry about anything. I prefer to feel that way. So I would go about my day living like that as best as possible, as best as possible. And I definitely don't put my life on hold. So I started baby stepping my way into that new version of myself, that new state. And because I was doing that. My 3D started to shift. Did I see instant movement with SP? I wouldn't call it instant. But did I see a change in his behavior within 24 to 48 hours? Yes. Now, that's not for you to compare your situations 
to mine. I'd been on a really long, annoying journey because I was always in a victim state. So don't ex if you don't get something in 24 to 48 hours, doesn't mean you're failing, okay? But if you would every day, when you're starting to worry and see things out here as separate from you, if you would take a few minutes, remind yourself of who you are. Really, I close my eyes, I'm sorry, when I start talking about it, it's because that's what I do when I'm doing it. So I'm living it for you in this moment. I literally sit somewhere, my hands always go up here, and I really think about the who I am. I'm the I am, I'm the God of my reality. It, all of my desires that flow through my mind are really, really mine. And I really can have them. And I don't have to live the next 20, 30, 40, however we're alive years, the way I lived my previous. That's all over for me. I, I literally come up, this, depending on where I'm at, those are the thoughts that run through my mind. I don't have, I'm never going to have to live like that again. I'm never going to live that scared existence of losing the things I love because no one can take love away from me because I am the I am. I have God within me right now in this moment. And listen, I'm not trying to be hyper spiritual here. I can't stress this enough. If you don't believe in God, that's okay. Whatever you believe in, if you don't believe in anything, but you still believe in manifestation, use a phrase that makes you feel more comfortable. You want to just call it your creation power? That's good too. But let me let me just say this. When you really think about what's inside of you, what's inside of you and what's promised to you, there's no de desires that you're going to be denied. None. It's your state of believing that it's hard to manifest. It's hard for you to maintain a state. It's hard, long journey to get certain manifestations. Feels hard to manifest SP. SP's not changing. That is just your perception from the state you are in and nothing more. So when it feels difficult, take a moment. Remember, you don't have to be hard on yourself and saturate your mind with the who you are. Our desires are promised to us because they are coming from God, from God. Not the typical, what we've brought up to think of God. No, he's not Gandalf on the mountain. You shall not pass. That's not God. But we do have God within us. We have that creation power. It was given to us to experience our desires as we continue evolving until we evolve to that place of I'm done. I'm here. I made it. I'm whatever it is to you. For me, it's, I don't know, graduating to the place of you instantly you shift and manifest and, you know, quantum leap. Whatever you think the journey of life is. You're going to keep evolving and life is going to look the way you the way you see it. I'm telling you, decide today. Decide today that you don't have to worry about screwing up. You don't have to worry about mistakes. You cannot screw up your manifestation. Your manifestation was really promised to you. You have the power of God within you right now or your higher self, higher being, creation power right now. Really saturate that in and see yourself as the version of yourself that already has your desires. It is that simple. It is literally deciding to be that version of yourself. Not fake acting and wearing rings on your fingers, leaving room in your bed. I don't mean any of that stuff. Unless you enjoy doing that, then feel free to do it all you would like. I don't. I'm too lazy for that. Okay? But what I do do my best to walk around feeling. And when I say do my best, it's not that I'm, okay, get in proper state. No, Kimberly, when I wake up, no. 
I just listen to myself when I wake up. I listen. I listen. Because I wake up grumpy. And there's nothing giving me reasons to be grumpy. I just wake up that way. I've kind of always been that way. And I don't feel like changing it. But I listen. Do I really have a reason to be grumpy or am I just being a bitch today? You're just being a bitch. Okay. Do I believe my desires are mine? Yep. Do I believe it's easy for me to have anything I desire? Yep. Do I believe I am the I am? Yes. Okay. So my grumpiness is just because I'm a grumpy bitch sometimes. Nothing more than that. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you hear how stupidly simple it sounds like? Listen. If you feel that you have blocks or resistance to something, you are creating that as a state for yourself. You are holding yourself in the state I have resistance. I have blocks. When you daily tell yourself that you are the I am, you are the God of your reality, and it is easy for you to believe that you are the I am and that everything is already yours, and you tell yourself that every day, you will start to feel more natural when you're saying it. It will become easier for you to believe if you don't believe right now. That's okay. This new state, this new version of yourself will feel natural. That's why I say, take the baby steps. If it feels too, too resistive for you to believe that you already are the version of yourself that has your desires because you're waiting for 3D proof, I get, I understand that. And I don't judge you for that. I say, take the baby steps every day. Work on saturating your mind of the who you are. You're already loved enough. You're already chosen. That version of you is existing in this moment. To get to that version, to get to that state, is a conscious choice. And it may feel weird at first. It may feel uncomfortable. That's why I'm telling you, Take the baby steps. It's like practicing working out. You're going to do it every day until it becomes so damn easy. You're not even thinking about it. You just wake up to it. Like me. Manifesting is not out of your range. It's not out of your reach. It's not something you need to do. Um, you know, the striving for perfection. It's at your fingertips now. The version of you that easily manifests, that easily always gets what he or she wants, is already alive and well in you now, in this moment. So every day, tell yourself you are the version of you that easily has all of her desires or his desires. Listen, the reason why I keep saying put your focus on your God state Put your focus on the I amness of reminding yourself of the power and that nothing can stop you. This is a state. That in itself is a state. Once you realize that it's as easy as just doing that, it's just deciding you are that version that believes, that knows unconditionally that it's done, that your desires are yours. Once that happens... That's going to be the, the, the silliness of it all. The silliness is when you realize who you really are, meaning the I am, and it's okay if you fall back out of it, you fall back into a state where you're not sure if you believe or not, but you allow yourself to know and believe that it's okay if I have moments where I'm not believing. It's okay. It's okay if I have moments where I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to manifest certain things. But then we pick ourselves up and get back into a more beneficial place by at least thinking of the possibility. The minute you accept that you don't need to attain perfection to manifest, it's okay to tell yourself that shit's going to be okay. That is the moment that you realize just how damn powerful you are. And that if you allow the states to come in without panicking, without panicking, and you just work on, okay, why am I feeling the way I am? Why is this in the 3D bothering me? Let's break it down. 
Why do I feel this way? Oh, I'm just in a state and nothing more than that is when you start releasing obstacles and resistance. I'm telling you, take the baby steps every day of telling yourself you are already that version of yourself who has all your desires because you are the I am. I am the I am. I am the God of my reality. I am the God of my reality. And no matter what state I am in, I can easily manifest because I'm that powerful. You saying that in itself is a state. It's a state. Literal thinking coaches will tell you, you, you can't just say that and expect to be there and have things show up. And I'm telling you, uh, yeah, you can. It's a state within itself. You're freeing yourself of obstacles. There's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear means easily holding a more beneficial state. Things start changing out there. I don't want you to ever feel that you must be perfect or you must maintain a perfect state in order to manifest. That is a state of fear. Where you put your focus is the state you are in. If you are consistently focused on, I must embody the God state, I must maintain this wonderful, beautiful state at all times, I must, then you are creating a state where you have to be that version of yourself in order to manifest because you created that rule for yourself. Therefore, you created that state that you're in. It is as simple as saying, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to do anything. It is okay for me to feel natural and still always stay in my connection to God, the I amness, and I will still get all of my desires because they're already mine. That in itself is the beneficial state. You're releasing the grasps of anything outside of you simply by declaring that every day. Don't focus on what's not here yet because it already exists. It's, it cannot be denied you. If you were consistently in a state where you don't have to worry about what's happening out there, that's when shit starts moving for real. And I have manifested my person and kept my person. I have manifested money. I have manifested anything you can re really kind of think of and all subject areas. And my world completely changed when I accepted that and I started paying more attention to what state I'm holding than anything else. I sincerely mean that. When Neville Goddard was trying to get to Barbados. Neville explained that Abdullah was rude to him. I remember, slammed the door on him because Neville was trying to get to Barbados and Abdullah was trying to explain to him, then be the version of you that's in Barbados. Neville thought he was rude because he went to Abdullah's door again to say, yo, this isn't working. I'm not manifesting me being in Barbados, dude. So what's the problem? And then Abdullah slammed the door in his face after saying to him, How can you tell me about going to Barbados when you are in Barbados? And then slam the door. Do you see what Abdullah was trying to do? Although poor Neville did think he was being rude to him. And I think that's cute. But do you, do you get the point? A lot of us talk about our manifestations as separate things from us, things outside of our grasp, things outside of our control, things outside of us. And how can that be? If you're trying to manifest, say, being married to your specific person, or if you're trying to manifest uh, perfect health or having a million dollars, you talking about, I'm trying to manifest this, is you not being that version of yourself. The idea is to every day embody the state of already having it, of already being the version of you. 
that is married to your SP or who has perfect health or who has a million dollars. I don't mean fake acting. I'm saying you're seeing yourself as already that person, accepting that you're the God of your reality. And that state, that version of you is already here. And then you stop seeing it as separate. I realize that your 3D world can make you feel that you are not that version of yourself. You are not in that state. I know that. But in a way, it's like denying logic, denying the senses of what you're seeing in the 3D and still maintaining in your mind, oh, I'm the God of my reality. I am the version of myself who gets what she wants. So there is never anything to worry about. There is never anything to fear. I am the version of Kimberly who is in a happy, fulfilling, long-term loving relationship with SP's name. Do you see what I mean? And every day I get up believing, accepting, maintaining that I am that version of myself. I had to stop resonating, believing, accepting that I was the version not getting that relationship. I had to let that go. The 3D would throw me off. And that's when I started saying to the 3D, okay, put your focus on who you are and what's inside of you. Put your focus there. And tell yourself there's never anything to worry about or doubt because of who you are and what you have within you. And things will change. It sounds too easy. It sounds too simple. And I know that. And I think you are all expecting more and more details. No. It really is that easy. You can still affirm and do all the things on your manifestation game if you want. Like visualizing, affirming, scripting using revision, using inner conversations. Yes, all of those are helping you maintain the belief that you know you are always getting what you want. It's as simple as shifting your state. You get to create any state you want. So create one where you don't have to be perfect. You know you're God still and you know Everything's already done. If I desire it, it's done. It's mine. That's it. And your life will change. Okay? There's nothing special about me. I don't have some amazing different power than you have. I just don't allow other teachers' limited beliefs to ever enter my world anymore. I did in my beginning. I did in the beginning. I fell for a lot of the stupid ass rules that are out there. And then I, you know, came to the conclusion that we make our own rules. We do. And me paying attention to my state of consciousness has been the absolute game changer. It's not hard. It's not some big, long process. It's just doing it every day and not beating yourself up if you fall out. And on that note... Holy shit, this is a long video. So I'm going to let you go. So I hope I have made some of you feel better and not worrying and realizing how simple it is to choose the state you're in. Because it is. It's a choice. And you release your baggage when you shift yourself into a state where you know that baggage doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. You're God. Okay? If you have any further questions on states... I love talking about them and I will be happy to make you another video if necessary. Put them in the, uh, the comments below and I will record it for you. Okay? So on that note, I love you all. Decide you can do whatever the fuck you want and still get whatever you want. Create that state. But put your number one focus on the who you are. Okay? And I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>